Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the State Road 44 at Kepler Road Roundabout Public Open House. We welcome those of you who are attending in person here at the Wayne G. Sanborn Activity Center, as well as those online or over the phone. My name is Michael Glenn Rainey, and I am the Florida Department of Transportation Construction Project Manager for this project. The purpose of this project is to improve safety for all modes of travel, reduce congestion, and enhance operations at this intersection by replacing the existing traffic signal with a two-lane roundabout. At this time, I'd like to thank the elected officials and government partners that are joining us this evening. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 431-922-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to see the toolbar. The blue arrows point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box on your desktop or mobile app. If joining from your computer, you may download handouts for this meeting as shown by the red arrow. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the question box on the control panel on GoToWebinar, or send an email to Nancy Ortega at nancy.ortega at exp.com. You may also call area code 305-341-8602. Staff will do their best to assist you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, DeLand, Florida 32720-6834, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email at melissa.mckinnewy at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwannee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot state dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. During tonight's open house, we will provide a project overview, an update on the construction schedule, and those in attendance in person will have an opportunity to speak with project staff. Those attending virtually will also have the option to submit questions online. We will also explain the work to be completed during each phase of the project and how traffic will be shifted to complete this work while maintaining traffic flow. The intersection of State Road 44 and Kepler Road is located within the city of DeLand in Volusia County. The project limits span along State Road 44 from west of Kepler Road to east of Talisman Lane, a distance of approximately half a mile.
The purpose of the project is to enhance operations and safety at the intersection of State Road 44 and Kepler Road by constructing a two-lane roundabout. State Road 44, also known as East New York Avenue, is a main thoroughfare in the city of DeLand. The existing intersection consists of one travel lane in each direction with right and left turn lanes along both State Road 44 and Kepler Road. There is a Circle K gas station located in the northwest quadrant of the intersection, a Shell gas station and 7-Eleven convenience store located in the southwest quadrant, and an animal emergency center located in the southeast quadrant. A mixed-use development with 100 townhomes, a grocery store, and other shops is planned for the northwest quadrant as well. There are also outside paved shoulders utilized by cyclists, as well as bicycle through lanes at the intersection. This intersection serves a high volume of traffic and experiences significant congestion during the morning and evening peak hours. The video on the slide shows traffic backup at the intersection during morning rush hour, just before 8 a.m. Safety is FDOT's first priority, and the department's target is to reduce the number of transportation-related serious injuries and deaths across Florida to zero. Roundabouts are proven to reduce the possibility of head-on and angle crashes since all vehicles travel in the same direction. Roundabouts demonstrate dramatic reductions in serious injury and fatality crashes, as well as reductions in delay for road users. Benefits of modern roundabouts have been shown to occur in both urban and rural areas under a wide range of traffic conditions. Roundabouts reduce severe crashes 78 to 82 percent compared to signalized intersections. Roundabouts also result in 40 percent fewer pedestrian and bicycle crashes. FDOT District 5 currently has eight roundabouts operating on state roads, four on the Wakiva Parkway corridor in Seminole County, two in Volusia County, and two in Flagler County. Traditional intersections have 32 potential vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle conflict points, whereas roundabouts have eight. This significant reduction in conflict points decreases the overall likelihood of crashes. Roundabouts also have slower speeds as vehicles approach the intersection. The roundabout at Kepler Road and State Road 44 will be no different, as the speed limit approaching the intersection will be 25 miles per hour. Motorists traveling at slower speeds have more time to judge and react to other drivers and pedestrians. Roundabouts also promote a continuous flow of traffic, which reduces congestion and the likelihood of rear-end collisions. Unlike a signal, vehicles are not required to stop and wait for a green light, leading to smoother traffic movement. Instead, motorists would yield to traffic already in the roundabout before proceeding into the roundabout. Studies have shown that roundabouts can reduce traffic delays by about 20%, and they can accommodate 30 to 50 percent more traffic compared to signalized intersections. FDOT's goal is to reduce impacts to traffic flow as much as possible during construction. The project will be constructed in phases in order to maintain the existing travel lanes without detouring traffic. Although there will be no detours, Traffic shifts and occasional single lane closures can be expected. Overnight lane closures for both State Road 44 and Kepler Road will be restricted from 7.30 p.m. to 7 a.m. Electronic message boards and other roadway signage will be utilized to direct traffic around closures. Channelizing devices, including traffic barrels and barricades, will be relocated during each phase to correspond with traffic shifts and to separate travel lanes from the work zones. Access to businesses, residences, and other properties will be maintained throughout the project. The existing posted speed limit on State Road 44 is 45 miles per hour and shall remain unchanged throughout construction. A temporary signal with vehicle detection will be installed after phase one and removed during the final phase of construction. 
a law enforcement officer will be on site during signal installation and adjustments. This project will be constructed in five phases. The following slides will explain what motorists can expect during each phase of construction. Approximate time frames will be provided for each phase. However, it is important to keep in mind that the construction schedule is subject to change pending weather or other unforeseen circumstances and may vary from this timeline as the project progresses. In the first phase of construction, travel lanes on State Road 44 and Kepler Road will remain in their existing configuration while crews work outside of the roadway. Crews will begin work by mobilizing equipment, putting up construction signage, clearing and grubbing the project limits, and installing erosion control measures throughout the project limits. At the beginning of phase one, utility agency partners will also be working to relocate any utilities to make room for construction. During this phase, lane widths will also be reduced to 10 feet to make room for temporary diversion pavement to be constructed on both State Road 44 and Kepler Road. New temporary pavement will be laid in the work zones shown on the southwest, northeast, and southeast quadrants of the intersection. This phase also includes the construction of a stormwater retention pond on the northeast quadrant of the intersection and three shallow channels, known as swales, on the southeast quadrant. Temporary lighting and traffic signals will also be installed during the first phase. Additional phase one drainage improvements include outfall structures, drainage pipes, and inlets. Phase one is estimated to last approximately six months. During phase two, a temporary low profile barrier wall will be installed along the outside eastbound travel lane of State Road 44. The travel lanes on State Road 44 will shift south onto the new pavement previously constructed in phase one and traffic on Kepler Road will shift east. The barricades, channelizing devices, and signage from the previous phase will be relocated to accommodate the new traffic pattern. Additional temporary diversion pavement will be laid within the work zone areas on State Road 44 and Kepler Road. New permanent pavement will be laid in the Northwest Quadrant work zone. Temporary low profile barrier walls will be installed along the outside eastbound travel lane of State Road 44. Phase two is estimated to last approximately two to three months. In Phase 3A, the temporary signal heads, barricades, channelizing devices, and signage will be repositioned. The temporary barrier walls will also be moved, and westbound traffic on State Road 44 will shift north, while eastbound traffic will remain on the existing travel lanes. Traffic on Kepler Road will shift west onto the new pavement constructed in the previous phase. During Phase 3A, more temporary diversion pavement will be constructed on both Kepler Road and State Road 44. New permanent pavement will also be laid in the center of State Road 44, maintaining traffic flow around the work zone while allowing construction in the central areas. Phase 3A is estimated to last approximately two to three months. Phase three begins with the relocation of the temporary signal heads, barricades, channelizing devices, and signage. During this phase, the eastbound and westbound left turn lanes on State Road 44 will be shifted to the north, where they will be adjacent to the opposing through lane. The work zones will be in the center of the roadway on State Road 44 and on Kepler Road, north of the intersection separating the turn lanes from the through lanes of the same direction. New permanent pavement will be laid in the center work zones on State Road 44 and Kepler Road. Phase 3B is estimated to last approximately two months. In Phase 4A, the temporary signal heads, barricades, 
channelizing devices and signage will be repositioned and sections of the temporary barrier wall will be removed. The eastbound and westbound through lanes on State Road 44 will be shifted to the north to allow for new pavement to be laid in the center of the roadway just west of Kepler Road. The northbound right turn lane on Kepler Road will shift to the east to accommodate a work zone between the northbound right turn lane and through lane. There will also be a work zone on the east side of Kepler Road to the north of State Road 44. New permanent pavement will be laid in the work zones in the center of State Road 44, just west of Kepler Road and on the east side of Kepler Road. Phase 4A is estimated to last approximately two months. During Phase 4B, the travel lanes will be shifted to their near final configurations to allow for removal of temporary diversion pavement and prepare for final paving operations. Temporary signal heads, barricades, channelizing devices, and signage will be relocated and additional sections of the barrier wall will be removed. The eastbound right turn lane on State Road 44 will be shifted to the north and the northbound through lane on Kepler Road will shift to the east. New permanent pavement will be laid on the southwest quadrant of the intersection and on the west side of Kepler Road north of State Road 44. Permanent roadway signs and signals will be installed and operational before moving to the next phase. Phase 4B is estimated to last approximately two months. Phase 5 will be the final phase of construction and will last approximately three to four months. In Phase 5, the barricades, channelizing devices, and signage will be repositioned and the remaining barrier wall will be removed. Traffic will shift to the final roundabout configuration and the temporary traffic signals will be removed, marking the near completion of the project. Any remaining temporary diversion pavement will be removed and the roadway will be resurfaced with final striping applied. Final construction will include a concrete truck apron, curb and gutter, and raised grass medians to separate lanes of opposing traffic within the roundabout. The concrete apron, represented by the bright red area on the graphic, is designed to allow the roundabout to accommodate large trucks with a wide turn radius. These trucks can utilize the concrete apron, in addition to the asphalt pavement, to navigate the roundabout safely. Additional improvements during this phase include pedestrian and vehicular lighting and additional drainage inlet work. Landscaping in the center island of the roundabout will also be installed in Phase 5 and will consist of sable palms, kunti palms, silver saw palmettos, and dwarf fakahachi grass. This slide shows a closer look at the final roundabout features upon completion of construction. During the last phase of construction, new sidewalks, crosswalks, and Americans with Disabilities Act ADA compliant curb ramps will be installed at each roundabout approach. The sidewalk ramps will allow bicyclists to exit the roadway and travel onto the sidewalk at the intersection. Each crosswalk will be equipped with rectangular rapid flashing beacons, RRFBs, and new pedestrian signage and pavement markings. Each RRFB will include yellow LED lights that flash once activated by a pedestrian to increase driver's awareness of people crossing at the roundabout. For more information about RRFBs and how to use them, visit HTTPS colon double slash www.alerttodayflorida.com slash pedestrian. This slide shows the final configuration of the entire project limits, which includes State Road 44 from approximately 800 feet west of Kepler Road to Talisman Lane and Kepler Road from 650 feet south of State Road 44 to 1,250 feet north of State Road 44. 
Also visible on this slide are the two swales in the southeast quadrant of the project limits and the center bi-directional turn lane along State Road 44 from east of Kepler Road to Lake Winnemissit Drive that will be installed as part of this project. This slide shows a three-dimensional rendering of what the roundabout will look like once constructed. This view is looking from northeast to southwest. Each entry approach to the roundabout will consist of two lanes. There will also be right turn bypass lanes that will allow right turns from eastbound State Road 44 to southbound Kepler Road, westbound State Road 44 to northbound Kepler Road, and northbound Kepler Road to eastbound State Road 44 without entering the roundabout. Similarly, this is what the roundabout will look like at night once constructed. This view is again looking from northeast to southwest. Now we'll take a look at the roundabout in action. Please note this video is a rendering and is not the final version. Minor changes will be made and shared at a later date. The video is also posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 431922-1. Starting from north of the intersection, looking south, the video shows the future roundabout as well as the adjacent Circle K gas station in the foreground, the Shell gas station and 7-Eleven convenience store to the near right, and the animal hospital in the far right across the intersection. Looking past the intersection to the east along State Road 44, note the roadway widening for the left turn lane that extends to Talisman Lane. As described earlier, each entry approach to the roundabout consists of two lanes in each direction as well as a right turn bypass lane that will allow motorists to turn right from eastbound State Road 44 to southbound Kepler Road, westbound State Road 44 to northbound Kepler Road, and northbound Kepler Road to eastbound State Road 44 without entering the roundabout. As vehicles approach the roundabout, note how they slow down and yield to oncoming traffic, and then proceed when traffic is clear. The roundabout will have raised medians extending about 275 to 500 feet from the intersection on both State Road 44 and Kepler Road. As a result, all driveways for both gas stations and the new animal hospital would be right in and right out. In other words, vehicles will not be able to turn left onto or out of these properties. All of the businesses have driveways on both State Road 44 and Kepler Road to provide access to and from both roadways. The first contract day for this project was June 22, 2024, and the contractor is PNS Paving Incorporated. The estimated construction cost is $8.5 million. The estimated project completion date is fall 2025. There are multiple ways for you to find out more information about this project and to ask questions. You can do so in person, virtually, by email or mail, or by telephone. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 431-922-1. Anyone with questions about this project is encouraged to contact FDOT Construction Project Manager Michael Glenn Rainey by phone at 386-740-3524 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours or by email at michael dot r-a-n-e-y at d-o-t dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l 
www.kepler.us or by U.S. Mail at 1650 North Kepler Road, Mail Station 513, DeLand, Florida 32724. The contact information is also available on the public open house notification that you may have received by mail. To find out more information about roundabouts and how to use them, please go to fdot.tips slash roundabout. To view tonight's presentation and additional information about this project, including upcoming lane closures and traffic shifts, visit FDOT's Central Florida Roads webpage, cflroads.com. Type the project number 431922-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. You may also use the Ask a Question button on the project page to submit a question to the construction team. The open house materials are posted on the website now. While the construction plans are final and will proceed as scheduled, we are here to address any questions you may have about the project. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with the project team members to ask questions. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public open house. Remember to drive cautiously, avoid distractions, and expect delays when driving through construction work zones. Have a good evening.